Yeah, the Brogue is bringing you something a little bit different. Uh, in the past, a couple of months ago, we did a, uh, a video on Dota 2. Me playing Dota 2 for the first time, and uh, it seemed like a lot of you guys enjoyed that. Uh, and today we're going to be looking at Smite. So if you don't know, if you didn't read the title of the, the video, then uh, I am a League of Legends player for 10 years, and I've never played Smite. Uh, in League, I've hit to Challenger, I've hit like the highest rank possible. I played a few different roles, mid, AD carry, and support. Um, I don't really know too much about Smite apart from the fact that it is a MOBA, MOBA and it is like third person, but that's pretty much all I know. Uh, we'll try and do something similar as to what we did in the Dota video, so in the tie stamps down below I'm just going to be doing the tutorial, and then I'm going to be doing my first game uh, with other people. Um, so skip down to below depending on what you want me want to see. So if you're interesting, interested about Smite and you have no idea what it is either, then maybe join the tutorial with me. If you're more experienced with Smite, then maybe, maybe stick to, go to, to the gameplay maybe, and then you can laugh at me over there. So I've just literally just launched the game for the first time. I downloaded it via Epic Games. I think it's on Steam as well. Uh, welcome to Smite tutorial. So here we go. Welcome to the arena. In this map, two teams face off from bases on opposite ends of the arena. Players will fight in the middle of the arena in a brawling deathmatch, where your goal is to defeat enemy gods and their minions by reducing their team ticket count to zero. Average game time is around 18 minutes. Each team starts with 500 tickets, though in this tutorial we will be starting with 100. <laughs> They're taking my tickets. Killing an enemy player deducts five tickets from the enemy team. Okay. Killing an enemy minion deducts one ticket from the enemy team. Helping a friendly minion reach the portal on the enemy side of the map also deducts one ticket from the enemy team. Once your team has killed ten enemy players, a juggernaut spawns for your team. Escorting him into the enemy portal deducts 15 tickets from the enemy team. In arena, players start at level 3 with 1500 gold and have accelerated gold and XP advancement. As a hunter, you deal great damage to enemies, but you should always stay back and out of melee range, dealing your damage from a safe distance. Hunters rely heavily on core damage items to be effective and augment their basic attacks. So this seems like maybe not the main map In this tutorial, of Smite. You will control Neith, the Egyptian weaver of fate. Let's begin by practicing navigation. This seems more like a fun mode, Use kind of like ARAM in League. And use the mouse to turn. Journey Whoa, outside mount sensitivity is super high. This feels weird. <laughs> feels weird playing a mobile like game in third person. Where you can jump. So I wonder how, how important actually aiming is in this. And press the left mouse button to fire me first. Okay, so I could just hold down the left mouse button here to auto attack. F1, oh that's unlock the spell I see, we've learnt it. Okay. Press the left mouse button to fire. By default, your abilities will be trained automatically for you after this tutorial. So we've got a two ability here. A little circle. Okay. And what's my number three? This is cone. Oh, it's like a... You are now level an escape. You have access to your ultimate ability, which is very important for team fighting. As Neath, keep your distance and try to aim each basic attack. So we have an ultimate on our four. Use your spirit arrow and world weaver ultimate to snipe Whoa. the enemies trying to retreat. Okay, I cancelled that. All right. Now try to defeat several enemy gods. Okay, okay, it looks like I can't target minions with that. It has to be um champions. I'm not sure if you get bonus gold for last hitting, like getting the last hit on a minion. Let me see, try to use my ultimate here. Oh, it's like, um, it's like an ash arrow. It kind of like stuns them on when it hits. I'm killing them in the base. 
So it does say aiming does have some relevance. Like it's not like the attacks are like homing onto them like they would do in League. The extra points earned will help secure your victory. So yeah, this seems like a like a fun mode. Uh, um, it was explaining in quite in depth, so people must play this as like a as a mode for real. But I wouldn't call this like a main MOBA map. Like there's no jungle or or anything like that. So it's causing these minions through the portal. Very cool. So let's finish this match. Reduce the enemy team's tickets to zero to win. Where are the uh, the ticket count? And there's that big ground tracker above my head which won't seemingly go away. So my ult's not ready yet. I'm not sure what this champion's called, but it seems pretty cool. We can maybe play this when we play our um, our actual match later on if we have access to it. We just snipe kill here. Yeah, where you run into. Winners. You have won your first game. Yay. I wonder if it's actually possible to, <laughs> to lose the tutorial. That'd be quite the accomplishment, wouldn't it? So who is this uh, champion called? I'm not sure. Is it Artemis? She could probably... Uh, Oh, Neith. Neith, yeah, we can probably use her for uh, the next game, I'm assuming, if I know how to actually leave this menu. It's a player game button at the top. There's also daily quests and things like that. Uh, what else have we got here? we got level up bonuses, favor currency. I wonder if that's currency used then to buy heroes, champions. Because on the top right hand corner we've got this. Okay, so the green gem things looks like premium currency and this yellow stuff looks like free currency. How do we get out? How do we leave the, <laughs> this menu? <laughs> uh, play again? Nope. How do I leave? Maybe we're stuck here forever. What is going on? How do you leave this menu? Hello? Okay. Then I changed clicking that cog thing. Oh god. Okay, so we've got a lot of things jumping at us here right now. We've got um, some event things behind my head, like play 10 games or something, get 40 kills and assists. Uh, there seems to be a battle pass with the Stranger Things, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Twitch Prime, skins. Oh yeah, let's actually get into a game. Do we actually need to buy? I want to... Do I have to... How do I buy store? Make sure we've got, like, the champions. The uh, the gods. Of course, the gods. The Greek gods and stuff, aren't they? So we need to actually unlock some gods. Oh my god, that's like a... It's like a real-life looking Teemo there. The Danzaburu. That looks scary. Who we got here? We've got... Uh, King Arthur Merlin. So it's not all to do with um, Greek mythology. It's just seems to be all kind of mythology. Where is that champion? Is it? I can't even remember what it's called. It's not even got it alphabetically here. Let's just jump into a game and see what champions they give us for free. The third region, Europe. So arena, that was what we were just doing, wasn't it? That was the arena, that was the fun map. Uh, no idea what joust is or assault. Uh, conquest looks more like a normal kind of summoner's rift, like a MOBA. You have to choose roles here as well. In League I play support, but uh, I know from like ultra low ELO, it's probably not the best idea to play support. So we go carry and we can do we can do mid lane as well. Okay, I think we signed up for it. There's a timer at the top counting down, which is strange. 
usually it starts from zero and works its way up. Does it mean like definitely in two minutes time I'm going to be finding a match? So it seems like there's a bunch of summer skins going on at the moment. Yeah, the Stranger Things is interesting. Like, are they their own separate gods in the game, which would be kind of weird? Or are they just skins? You wouldn't see anything like this in League. Like, I don't recall any collaboration with any other kind of, like, TV series and stuff. I know Fortnite does this sort of stuff a lot, don't they? Like, with Marvel and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a real life furry version of Volley Bear. It's kind of creepy. It's like with the Timo skin that we saw earlier. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got esports and live streams. That's kind of cool. But they're advertising like the the Twitch streams and stuff. I'm assuming through here. That's cool. Something that I wish League would do. Actually, League just needs his whole new client anyway. Uh, so there is a battle pass. 56 days remaining. So it looks like you get Stranger Things skins and stuff. That's pretty cool. It's taking a long time to get into a game though. Not sure. Okay. I mean, it was on the dot, wasn't it? Counting down to exactly when you're going to be finding a game no matter what. And now there's another countdown. I don't know what the hell this thing is. <laughs> what is this? It's like a, one of those um, the swimming floaties. More time is needed for you to find a match. Yeesh. Another two minutes, 30. They're trying to find other noobs to play with. Galactic Renekton. So crazy. Let's have a look again at the store then while we're waiting for to get into a game. Of 34 chests apparently. Five more rolls into your next treasure choice. 34 or something that I've got here, maybe. I'm not sure what that 34 is. What else we got? A Thunderfang Thor. I mean, graphically, the, the, the units look kind of cool. That looks cute. Oh my god, it's like a human twitch. <laughs> like, these things are quite uncanny. Like, this looks like a... Like a singed as well. What is going on, dude? I'm so confused. My brain. This is like a... Like an echo. This is giving me, like, misfortune vibes. Okay, that's probably you. It's like that's like Yumi actually, isn't it? Instead of a instead of a cat, it's a dog, floating dog. That's like the Star Guardian. I it's like Star Guardian Ash. What is going on, man? And, or it's like Jinx. Like she's got the Jinx like floating thing there as well. This is crazy. This is so funny. This is like the cyborg skin line, isn't it? Like um. Projects. Is that like their jinx? Is this their jinx? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. How many skins are like so resembling? Well, they got their own dragon at least. That's new. Pantheon here. It's like, um. 
Has Pantheon got like a corrupted version, like with the Viego? It's looking a little bit like that, maybe. Who else we got? Oh, we're actually getting into game. Nice. Renting gods. Lock gods can be rented for favor by clicking on that icon. Oh. Oh god, it's Timo. Uh, guides? All the boxes are checked. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's do, let's do, uh, let's do Timo. Sorry, I mean, Danza Boru. Okay, I don't know what this champion does. It would be nice if, um,. Apparently it's a hunter ranged physical. Okay. Okay, so we're playing a hunter. Timo sorry, Danza is a is a is a hunter. Be interested to see what he does. It's also got like um Is it Guardians of the Galaxy kind of vibe there as well? It's like a cross hybrid between that and Timo. So we've got a Thanatos, a uh, Olo Run, a Ra. I recognize Ra, that's an Egyptian god, isn't it? I know that because of Asian mythology. We're against a Thor and Artemis, a Nuwa, the Morgan, and Hades. Now I know, I know Hades because I watch Marvel stuff. Whoa, that guy has a super glowy banner. I think we're going to be in trouble, right? Uh-oh. What does that noise mean? That's like a really old window sound, that. Ding. I think we're okay. So I don't know what they did on the, the Roman numerals there. I don't know what that, that's indicating. Press K to review your team's abilities. Your, god, your god's abilities. Oh my goodness. How am I going to... What? I can't read all of that. Roll out three money bags that pass through and damage enemy minions but stop on enemy gods. Slowing as they travel, gods are hit or damaged and intoxicated, dropping a gold coin that can provide them up to 10 gold. So we hit them, we get gold. When a money bag stops moving, it reveals to be an explosive which detonates after a short delay. Gosh. Okay, and how do we buy? That's recall. B is recall. How do we, how do you talk to the shop? I. Uh, what do we want? Uh, yeah. Mark minion as your bounty. Okay, this game doesn't explain anything. We just jump straight in. Uh... Uh... How much money have I got? I've got 750 gold still. Yeah, whatever. I've got life still. Let's go. Let's follow the line. Okay, so we have our number one ability. And, uh... We, we throw gold... Uh, people, are we gonna do this? Are we pulling? Are we doing this? Are we pulling this? This jungle camp? God, he looks ugly. Support camp. Nice! So we need to get into the lane. I might be missing some minions for jungle pulling there. Should I help this as well? Okay, I helped the jungler get the buffs. Ah, don't shoot at me. Ow! Okay, I got my money bags. There's money everywhere, and we picked up the gold coin. I think I did it right. So what number two, I don't know what my number two does. Nice, I threw like uh, oh, it like kind of charmed them. Oh, we're tanking minions, this is no good. Starting to run a little bit lower mana. I've got one health potion. Oh yeah, nice, good job. Good 
sure how to get those gold coins. This seems to be like jungle camps in the actual lane itself. I'm not sure what this G button does. I don't know what that does. Oh, on the left, I just realized about my portrait, there's like a bag of gold. Not exactly sure what that means. I've got a number three ability here as well. I don't know what button it is to check what my abilities do again. Uh oh, I press an F button. I don't know what F does. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, so W takes a swig of his sake bottle, gaining health before hurling it in front of him, dealing damage to enemies. So this gives me health. Okay. Uh, okay, so I should drink it more often. Uh. And by number three, I don't know what that does just yet. My number three creates a field where he moves faster, is slow immune, and takes less basic damage. Okay. Oh, I've got like a minion egg right here. Nice. Oh, the stealth. What's the sort of like chain lightning effect going on here? I'm just gonna drink a half potion. I've got 2,000 gold, I should presumably recall soon. Go, 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 I don't know what I'm gonna buy, but oh, <sighs> nearly got interrupted. All right, what do we want? What is? What do I want? What are these things? Physical life still. Okay. I don't think I bought anything though. I swear I clicked on this. Auto purchase. Turn off. Wait, what? Is it just gonna buy stuff for me automatically? It didn't buy anything for me though. How do I buy? Turn off. You ever see a gun this big? Okay, thanks, thanks. Okay, and can we get a boots a thing? Killing like more spree. movement speed. Movement. I don't know if boots are a thing. Yeah, that said, auto buy thing wasn't seemingly working properly. I don't know. All right, let's go back into lane. I'm still not like entirely sure what this F button is and stuff. And my skills seem to be auto leveling, which is fine. Void camp. There seems to be like a loss of jungle. Your middle tower is under attack. Whoa, is that bad? I think that's like an enemy stealth. Looked a bit like Senna's E. Oh, we've got ultimate now. Enemy has been detected nearby. Are we okay? Oh, okay. Whoa. Uh oh. This guy's kind of caught up. Oh, die four. I kill you four. No, I died. Yeah, I don't know what my ultimate does. I killed Thor. Uh, the rocket summons a magical leaf which transforms into a large bamboo rocket. While preparing, I can aim the rocket within 180 degrees to lock onto enemy gods, or I can refire this ability to become the rocket. Okay. More power, more fun. 
Okay, so we've got like life still on our auto attacks, I believe. No, there's no one mid for our team right now. Oh, there's some camps here. Nice. To spot a jungling. They seem very easy to kill. An ally has been slain. This camp seems to be ready. But it seems to like rebound off the walls. My uh, my number one, the bags of money. Right, let's see if I mean that's XP camp. See if I can use my ultimate soon. Nice. Wait, leave my friend alone. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. I got that person down to uh, like half HP with that rocket. Nice. Uh oh. I I press F. I don't know what F does. <laughs> what was that? You got someone spamming gank. Gank. Let's have a look at the shop then while we're here. Killing an enemy god or minion gives you physical power and life still. Okay. Killing an enemy god forges a shield from their blood with health equal to 200 plus 10 player level. While the blood shield is active, you get movement speed. Yeah, let's get that. Let's go kill some enemy gods. So I've got one kill, two deaths, two assists. I'll take it. It seems like there could be a lot of things going on here, like pushing a lane, do a camp, pushing a lane, do a camp. Imagine you have fun playing. Last time when I played Dota 2, I said this is like leak, and I got flamed in the comment section for saying that. But this is very similar to League in terms of like, I guess all my bizarre really, aren't they? But it's fun. That's the most important thing, right? It's fun. Oh. Uh, I don't have to get out of this situation. I'm pressing everything right now. Okay. I literally pressed all my buttons and I couldn't get out. Maybe I could I turn into a rocket? I still don't know what the F and G do. Is there any way to check? Relics. Aegis Amulet makes me invulnerable for 1.5 seconds. Oh, okay. And a vision shard. Oh, it's a ward. Right, it's a ward. Okay. Right, I know what they are. I'm a support main in League. Right. Okay. So next time we get jumped like that, we'll pop the invulnerability, I guess. That seemed like maybe like a fiddlesticks ulti, actually, thinking about it. So I seem to have two points in my ultimate now. We've pushed in bot lane. Your middle is under put a ward there. Tower. Oh, we lost our mid turret. Can I backdoor this? Oh. Uh oh. We're at minions. Must hit something, I don't know what that was. 
Can I like rebound this behind the wall? Nice! So you used my bazooka? Oh, they didn't actually die. I used my thing. Did I do good? My invulnerability thing when they went up into the air. I feel like I blocked like a nuke attack. Ah, nice. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but we're winning, I think. That's alright! Nice! I've got 2,000 monies. I'm quite overextended, aren't I? Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, cool, we turned into like a little space rocket. I didn't notice that before. Alright, so I have all this gauntlet. Uh, pass, your abilities heal you for 5% of damage dealt. Okay. Um, uh, the executioner is recommended. We'll take, oh wait, there's uh, boots here. I can change my relic and base, I think. We'll keep the, the, the invulnerability thing. I think that saved me earlier. A lot of people mid. Nice! Killed him. All me, baby. Let's go. Got my rocket launcher ready. Oh, I can't go through the walls. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can do some jungle. I guess it's immune because it's uh, too far away. I feel like I'm doing all right. Someone's pushing in our bot turret. Some sort of like damage buff here. Monster madness. Behind my head just popped up. Ow. Yeah, Sparta just took a bit of damage there, like a car thistle to you or something. Yeah, see if I can get behind this person here. They're overextended. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, I missed my, my ability. We good though? Yeah! I'm also in a killing spree. Let's go. I'm a scary panda Teemo thing. Let's go. Is the jump like actually useful or is it just gimmicky? I feel like it's just gimmicky. I feel like we might be overextending here. I'm gonna put down a ward. A ward. Oh, someone behind me. I'm on my way, buddy. Is flying up into the air. I use my vulnerability thing. I'm just getting hit by everything. Okay. I'm hitting stuff, I think. Nice. I think we did alright. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I died to. You're able to upgrade your relic, upgrade vision shot to a new relic. How do we do that? That reduces the cooldown by 30 seconds. Sure. Let's do that. Yeah, not sure how I exploded there, but that was fun. So this basic attacks against the enemy reduce your target's physical protection by 7% for 3 seconds. And then you can stack it up 4 times. If you drop below 35% health, you gain 30% life still. Okay, so that might help us stay alive longer. You ever see a gun this big? Getting quite like a glass cannon right now. I'm still not fully sure what this item does. Every 10 seconds, the highest health enemy or jungle monster within 80 units of you is marked. If you secure the killing blow, 
You gain 7 bonus gold and 20% attack speed for 8 seconds and restore mana. Ah, okay. It's like there's a, mid, a fight happening in the mid lane. I hit Hades with my rocket. Hades died. Nice. I killed someone else. Okay. I'm gonna try and steal some of their jungle. Oh. Gold Fury. What is that? Is this like a Baron Nash or something? Can I solo this? Maybe not. Uh oh. No, I can't solo this. Can I? No, oh, not me! Okay, that's a no go. Hey, 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 do you wanna do you wanna do this? Let's do this. Let's do this. Ow! Got hit by like a calf assault thing in there again. At least we've got a lot of life still, so at least we're regenerating up off these auto attacks here. Grants 150 gold. Got get gave us a whole team bunch of money apparently. Very cool. Alright, nice, we're back up to full HP. Money! Levels! Uh oh. Just, there might be a camp here. Get her. Yeah. Mm. Uh oh. Oh, did I pop it too early? Or is it my invulnerability thing? I'm not sure if I popped it too early or not. I have no idea what's going on, but it looks like we're doing alright. Alright, what can we buy? Is there anything that can protect us? Removes crowd control effects. Okay, yeah, we got that instead of the wards. Who needs wards anyway? Um, base the executioner. Yeah, sure. But there isn't much here on the uh, on the recommendation. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Hmm. Let's just go for like passive stuff. I can't think of the on hit stuff at the moment. And I sh can I buy consumables? An enemy has been slain. I don't feel like a health potion is going to help me much now, is it? It's going to be probably quite weak. Double kill. We seem to be winning though. I've got my rocket Triple ready. Rock. The damage buff around the corner here. Let's go grab it. Yeah, I got it. XP camp. Killing spree. Be careful in the jungle. <laughs> Be careful in the jungle. Yes, Dad. Giant scorpion. What does that do? 25 gold to each member of your team. Oh. I can't pick it up. Pew pew. Could have probably used my number one there. Oh, I see a player. Come back. I have bags of money for you. Ugh. Let's 
to me. I feel like I'm gonna get ganked any second. This feels too deep. Nice. Oh no, deja vu, man. How do I get out of this? Oh, I got the out of crowd control thing, right? Whoa. Yeah, I forgot I had that that uh, on my G. The out of crowd control. If I pop that sooner, maybe I survive. Do that good old turnaround. Um... Is there any like defensive like item I can take for that? Like, I don't know, like some sort of like magic resistance thing. Any healing when taking damage from enemy gods. Uh, game protect for each enemy god within 55 units of you. Get a stack of st stacking buff that provides eight protections. Eight protections. What does that even mean? Uh, twenty percent card control reduction. Okay, yeah, let's go for this bulwark then. Your right tower is under I will give you this shiny leaf in exchange. Okay. Yeah. Ow! Got hit as soon as I left the base. I see Thor. Your right tower is under attack. Enemy missing. So I can I follow him? Ooh. Am I in trouble here? Nice. I'm a leaf. Is that another component of my number three? Hades. I don't have my ulti though. It's that big scary fiddlesticks looking dude, isn't it? I think he left. Oh, I hear, I hear footsteps. Or is that just my teammate? I think it's just my teammate. Is it Gold Fury alive? We should do this, right? Only Fury. To like respawn is he now really mad? Ow. Nice, we did it. That hurt though, but we did it. Can I regen off anything here? I just want to shoot something a few times. Nice, back to 4 HP. Do you think I can take that, can I, because I've got the, the regen orb thing? Oh, that's 4. Hello, 4! Uh oh, this can't be good. Uh, I killed one. Is that good? Um, crowd control here. Is that chasing? Oh, I hit the wall. That can't be good. Whoa. Oh, God. I went too far. <laughs> Chased maybe a little bit too far. Maybe. Are we full build now? What's the difference between that and that? Oh, it's got 80 basic attack damage. Okay. All sources of gold are increased by 5%. For every 100 gold you have, you gain attack speed and physical crit. Up to a cap of 2,000. That sounds cool. You can get that at level 20, apparently. Go on, Ra. Auto. You can do it. Nice. It's like our inhib or something. Let's just run it down mid, our team's down mid. And two of the enemy team are dead for 30 seconds. Boing, boing, boing. So 
I have my cleanse on G. That's ready. Got my rocket launcher ready. Is the wall in the way though? Is that gonna affect it? We good. Oh, he's flying up. All right, I use my my cleanse. Oh no, I'm stunned. Got one. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Nice. Done. Nice. That's not running out mana soon. There's a money coin here. Where are our minions? Whoa. Got my rocket ready. Big rocket. Oh, nice to hit two. I'm not sure if they can see me when I'm in this little orb thing. I feel like we're going to need like a Baron Ash or something to push in. Gotta kill this Hades quickly. He's a big dude. Bye! Uh oh. Just need to keep auto hitting for life still. Not even sure, like, if my auto attacks are in range or not. Smashing down the button. Been targeted by a Phoenix. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to push in like this, are we? This feels, uh,. Kind of impossible. Uh, four is flying. Oh, some flanking. Oh, we do. Can we push in here? Is that going to hit the wall? No! Nice. Hades is at the back running away. Like a little scaredy cat. We got this though. Come on. Nice. We've got 3,000 gold. We need to get out of here. Looks like level 20 might be the level cap. Let's upgrade that um, item. And because we're ha holding 2,000 gold, we're getting like the maximum amount of stacks from it. Is there any like potions? 3,000 gold. All right, we're saving up for 3,000 gold to get a big mega potion. So it looks like our mid lane minions have got like red fiery weapons. So I'm assuming they're buffed. That's what the killing down the uh, the phoenix does, which is like the inhib, I guess, in leak. Oh, there's a fire giant. Oh, there's a fire giant on the other side of the map. I actually haven't even been over to the other side of the map. I'm on my way, buddies. Uh oh, enemy team are there already. We're surrendering. Why are we surrendering, guys? Did they get the fire giant or something? Rocket 
I should get it right. Nice. Don't have any minions coming down on the side of the lane, they're all the way back. now. What do we have to kill? Oh, this thing? Is this the Nexus? Oh, god. Uh. Uh-oh. We're healing! We're healing! We're healing! We're healing! <laughs> I got one. I think it was just the one. We got 3,000 gold so I can buy the Mega Potion, I guess, now? I'm assuming... So the Nexus is like a movable unit thing that assuming is like a boss, so... I'm wondering if killing the Phoenixes, the other Phoenixes, is gonna make it easier. Um, so we can respawn in 30 seconds. So this potion will give us 25% physical power, 25% bonus to structures, 10% penetration, and... Last for six minutes and persist through death. We could get a defensive one. Do I actually need more damage? Maybe more protection would be better. This match is too even. Maybe a dragon could tip the scale. It's a funny Jake. I like that Jake. That's very funny. Alright, let's whatever. Let's buy a power buff. Oh, I have, okay, so it's in my inventory, so I, it, and I'll have to just drink it just before a fight. I'll have to remember. I'm not sure what that is. Is that the ulti? That is the ulti, isn't it? Oh, there's a fire giant. Right, that must be like Baron. I'm on my way, guys. Let me pop my potion. And get this damage buff. I'm on my way, guys. Don't worry. I'm on my way. Fire giant's been pulled. Don't know what the pyromancer is there. Nice. Uh, gives us a lot of the extra damage. Nice. Let's push it. I need to get these, this minion wave. Alright. Let's go. Let's take this minion wave. I push into their base. Nice. Alright, surely we should be able to end the game with this. Hello, little birdie. I'm here to kill you. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by that ulti thing again. Wow, I do so much damage. Can we backdoor? Do you think we can end the game? Solo end the game? I'm the only person alive though. I might need to be a little bit careful. We have minions on their base, on their thing at the moment. Be careful left. Be careful left. Nah, I'm badass. I don't need to be careful. One. Nice double kill. Here we go. Where's Hades? Can I solo this? There's so much damage to it. Team 
use it. I got my ulti now. Oh, how did I even do that? I don't even know how I did that. I can't move. No. Kill him. He's got away. He's on one HP. Oh no, he got away. Whew. I killed a few there. Do these buffs stack? That'd be interesting. I pick up another power elixir. But yeah, that Hades seems like it's like a fiddlesticks ulti going in and there's an AoE circle and if you get stuck inside that you're kind of screwed. Um, but yeah, we're popping off now. We're in their base. Got one of those phoenixes down. We're kind of going into their base now one by one. Oh. All of our team, well, there's two not alive on our team. But I'm having fun. I'm actually having quite a lot of fun. And hope you guys are enjoying me play this for the first time. Honestly, like, I thought the graphics would be worse. Because then this game's been out for a, for a while. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, I need one of these buffs. Oh, chill. I think everyone at this stage is now like level 20. So another team fight breaking out around about here. Fire Giant is spawning in 25% time, which I don't know how, how much time that actually is. Nice, decent stun. Oh, he's behind me. There we go. Can't catch up. Uh oh, going right into his ulti. This ain't good. But Hades, man. Crap. Wow, well, a minute now to respawn, getting really punished now for my deaths. Hades going in again. Shh, the damage. Whoa, what was that? Ah, oh, he's dead, isn't he? No. Is everyone on our team dead? Got a couple of people respawning. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay, they want to stay alive and do fire giant. I'm up in 15 seconds. I'll pop my potion. Hades is wrecking us. No! This guy is solo killing us. This guy's done messing around. Now he's ready to carry. We're kind of dying one by one now. Alright, pop my potion. Let's go. Nice. I killed their best player. Let's go. Stunned. Nice. Basically, what a triple kill. Push in mid. Yeah, let's go to the fire giant. Don't actually even need that. What does this do? Gives a 40% movement speed buff around that team's fountain for 90 seconds. Nice. 
that the enemy don't come along and like last hit this. Alright, so we've got all the big, loud, noisy buffs. Pretty cool. Hold on, I'm gonna get these minions. They wanna group up down mid. My team's gonna need me. I need to get to mid. We pushed in top lane. Oop. We got one of them. I've got my ultimate ready. Let's go for a side flank here. I think I'm trolling with that ult. I'm not sure. I think I hit someone. Oh, there are no HP. Got this bird focusing me, man. Uh oh. Team's tower diving. Nice. They're all dead. Yeah. Woo. Behind my head, it says all about the conquest, bronze, whatever that means. I've got hard carry, hard carry, hard carry. I hard carried that game, apparently. Of course I did, I'm the best. <laughs> I can defend my team. Uh, I've got accommodation for being friendly. Wow. Oh, you can honor everybody, can you? Oh, wow. Very friendly, everybody. That was fun. I actually will play more of Smite. I I genuinely enjoyed playing that. Look at that. 20 kills, 10 deaths, 16 assists. And we killed that best that Hades. The Hades had the solo carry of the game, but we, we, we stopped that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. First look at at Smite. I'll definitely probably like I definitely will do a, another gameplay sesh of this and maybe I'll stream it as well. Um, who knows, but uh, yeah, keep an eye out for more Smite videos, maybe one or two. I'm not going to say I'm going to go crazy, but uh, I did enjoy it. And uh, we'll try and explore one of the other two, one or two other champions. Uh, maybe not the uh, the scary panda Teemo again, but hope you guys enjoyed that. Look, subscribe if you want to watch me play Smite again, or if you're interested in League of Legends content. And uh, look forward to see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.